for them? Yes, we doubled it. Anybody, any complaints about the food for the media? <laughs> it's been good. Has it improved since I've been here, though? Oh, God. Yeah. 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 No more chits and no a couple more hot dogs? No more crappy hot dogs. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so it, I think we really beat a good team today that is down. They're injured uh, right now. You know, missing their point. They're a really good freshman point guard. I think Davis was out, and he's he could have been. He's a good backup. Back when he was, he's been plagued by injuries. Really good player. Um, they got some super freshmen that are out as well, and uh, so uh, Archie's doing a great job with that team, and uh, really feel fortunate to to get a win. Uh, we were just missing one guy, and and uh, with Isaiah, we thought maybe he could go, and then just he just did not feel he could go. So. Uh, another opportunity for somebody else, and today it was Brandon Johns got a great opportunity and made the most of it. So I, lo I love that we had um, one of the stats that they mentioned to me is offensively Charles and Jordan didn't have the same half in the second half and the first half, and still we found a way to score some points enough to beat them. Our defense was really consistent, um, and uh, uh, Juwan Morgan is just an exceptional. I've seen a lot of post players come in here. You know, the Sullingers and, and the, and the uh, Zellers and things like that. that. That guy just gets baskets. He just gets, he gets under everybody. John did a great job in the first half. And in the second half, I think, worried about foul trouble or whatever. Um, it, it wasn't as good. But uh, really pleased with our overall effort and our team defense. Ethan, you want to start us off? Uh, John, what a Good to have you back, Ethan. <laughs> Thanks, John. Um, what allowed you guys to get off to such a fast start? Oh, we made some shots and we really guarded them. Uh, we uh, we just really came out. Uh, we uh, you know we haven't. We I think we were in better rent, rhythm man to man because we just played Penn State, right? We we had been into a funk there a little bit when we were just playing all against all zones and you know you don't know how people are going to play you. And so I thought we just had a really good rhythm and and we we set the tone, got them in foul trouble with their two big guys in foul trouble early and really took advantage of it. How much did that foul trouble make a difference? <clears throat> Those two guys are tremendous. I mean, they're 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 tremendous, and uh, I, I know that they're uh, they're really tough to stop. And now Archie does a great job getting them in the situations where they can be successful, where he doesn't have to do anything. Just give them the ball one on one, and they'll get a bucket. So uh, losing that them for you know they both probably sat about 20 minutes total. That's a big difference for us. Down here with John. You talked about Brandon burning it in practice. Yeah. How much of this was him burning it? How much was the need? Uh, and and it was the need. Yeah, it was the need. He's making progress in practice, but but that what that is that we've seen that a few times in practice, and you know it was just he's just sort of trying to learn, you know what's the next step, what's the next play, you know, and it's just really simple things that as the game slows down for him. Uh, he's more capable of doing that going further. But that was a matter of uh, foul trouble by Austin, foul trouble by John, and Brandon getting in there. So really pleased with it. And hopefully that gives him confidence so that he confidence in all these things we've been teaching with him actually works and he can do a really good kick. Love him. Absolutely love him. But he's, he also has, like many of our guys, got another gear that we're trying to get out of him, and we will.